we're here today at Hazel Dean in Cavisham Heights. As you can see, this is a bungalow just off of the main road there, down the bottom of the drive. We'll have a look at the garden space first, walking around the property. Currently I'm standing in the, or walking through the gravelled area used for parking. Making around, our way around the left, we have a log store area as well as a very large shed. And to the right, an external door to the converted garage space. As you can see, this is a mix of patio and grass area. Ahead of myself, we have the sunroom, which we'll have a closer look at uh, once we've entered the property. And a one-way gate to the path behind the rear property. There's also a conservatory. And then more garden space, as well as a working greenhouse here also. And we're back to the front of the property. We'll make our way through the front door and immediately upon entry we are in the porch area. As you can see there's a separating door and it opens to a large entranceway hall. To our immediate right here we have the door to the living room with a partition to our left and then these large windows with, uh, seen throughout the property looking onto the front there. There is an archway leading to the kitchen as well as a sliding door leading to the conservatory space. And as you can see, we've just walked around this space and can see the greenhouse from there. Back into the living room. We'll make our way through the archway to the carpeted dining space. Again, with doors leading to the conservatory. This is the kitchen, as you can see, we have a large gas hob there, sink. There is a dishwasher and fridge freezer under counter hidden here. If you'd like to find out which appliances are included, please do visit our website and view the uh, brochure on there also. There is a door to the sunroom. So this is the only access here. And as you can see, there's also an external door there. Great if you're wearing muddy boots in this autumn season. We'll make our way through the archway from the kitchen and into the hallway. As you can see, this is just adjacent. Now we'll have a look at the bedrooms and bathrooms. To our left here, we have one of the first bedrooms, good size double room. Again, looking to the front of the property, and carpeted, so all the bedrooms are carpeted in this property here also. Opposite this, we just have a little storage cupboard, and then the shower room. So this is uh, tiled walls, has a basin, toilet, and the shower. Coming out of here, we'll have a look at the next two bedrooms. So the one on our left, again, these are is a sizable double room with again that feature, large windows. 
a scene from the property. Very light and bright. Opposite, we have another bedroom. As you can see, it has some inbuilt wardrobes. Again, carpeted. Now this looks to the rear of the property. Can fit a small double bed and also be used as an office. Back into the hallway, it widens out. On our left we have the bathroom, now this does have a shower aspect to it. And as you can see there, with the bath, toilet and basin, tiled flooring and walls also, with a little bit of storage access as well. Immediately opposite we have, again, another bedroom. Due to the shelf, this almost could be utilised as a office. And off of here we have the door to the converted garage, as you can see here, with that door that we had a look at from the external walk around. If you'd like to find out more details with regards to this property, please do visit our website. Thank you.